Quiddy, Rhode Island kid. How does it feel to be back in New England today? Uh, it's a dream come true to be able to play in front of friends and family. Um, grew up here. It was cool seeing my mom. It was her first uh, game, seeing me play and uh, seeing friends from back home. It was amazing. What did it mean to you to play in front of your mom? Well, it means everything. You know, um, she was wearing her jersey that she got on draft day, the uh, retired jersey. So it was good. Coming through with a career day for you, career high in tackles with eight. You also had a sack and a TFL. To have that type of performance, how significant is that in a place that does mean so much to you when you have your mom there for the first time in your pro career? I was just trying to show up for my mom, man. I was trying to do my thing, but, you know, we, we came up short. Um, just trying to do my part, and, um, you know, I just try to make her happy every time I go out there. Defensively, you guys played so well. I mean, you held the Patriots to just over 200 yards of total offense. You only allowed one touchdown, and that was really just given by special teams play, great field position. How frustrating is it when you feel like you have such a strong defensive performance, but you're not able to walk out of here with a victory? Yeah, it was weird. Um, throughout the game, I kept telling guys, I'm like, it feels weird. It doesn't feel like we're losing right now. Um, you know, we just had a couple of mistakes, which put the, their offense in good field position. They kept uh, capitalizing on their field goals and whatnot, so um, we just got to be better. Woody, we saw you uh, tweet out to uh, Jeremy Pena congratulating him. Just um, what it mean to see a fellow Providence uh, kid like you. To be World Series MVP. Well, it's great to, to see Rhode Island guys doing their thing. Any way I can support, um, you know, seeing David Duke on the Nets and uh, you know seeing him doing his thing with the uh, Astros. Try to support any way I can because we're such a small state and people tend to overlook us. Even coming out of the high school, people overlooked me and um, just try to support my guys any way I can. Did you know Jeremy at all? Or did you? I, I did not. He went to Pasco, yeah, but it, I don't yeah, know we. Did you ever cross paths with him or not? But, no. Uh, did you watch the game last night? I did not. No, I did not. Quiddy, did you get to talk to, to Nolan Cooney when he was with you guys last week a little bit? Or? Yeah, yeah, it was it was great to see him um, caught up a little bit. We never played each other in high school though. That was that was the one thing that that we were talking about. But were you impressed with what you what you saw with his punting ability, all that, and just being able to, to float around the league like that? You know, we're we're usually away from the uh, special teams guys, but yeah, it was it was great seeing him uh, in the building. Quiddy, I know it's your first game back after the injury, but this team now on three losses in a row. That's yeah. this three game skid. How do you describe just the frustration that there is right now and what you guys need to do to get on the right signs of things, get right back in the in the positive territory? It's definitely not a good feeling, but um, we're not going to roll over and die. We're going to go into the building every single day and work. Um, just, just do our 111. Um, Steven's going to come back in the building and try to correct some stuff. Off is going to do their thing and just keep fighting. Our season's not over until it's over. So for me, I'm not trying to tank or whatever the fans are calling that. I'm going to come in every single day and fight.